uh, I, I want to say at the very outset that FATF has welcomed and acknowledged the significant progress that Pakistan has made both in uh, money laundering and in CFT. Uh, it has been recognized that Pakistan has strengthened the effectiveness of its AML CFT regime and addressed technical deficiencies and commitments of its action plans comprising of no less than 34 action items. As you all know, this process was a bit unprecedented where Pakistan was going through two working plans at the same time and therefore the higher number of action items which is 34 in number. Pakistan, it is acknowledged, it has been acknowledged by FATF, has addressed all strategic deficiencies and addressed all strategic deficiencies that FATF identified in both its June 2018 and in June 2021 working plan. Uh, Pakistan completed the 2021 work action plan in advance of the deadline and this was recognized uh, by the members in the plenary. Pakistan is no lo longer subject to FATF's increased monitoring process, which means Pakistan has been wiped to the FATF, which means that Pakistan is off the grey list. Uh, to advance the, and promote international cooperation, Pakistan will continue to work with the Asia-Pacific group of FATF to further improve our AML CFT system. And this is absolutely uh, appreciated because uh, it is our commitment to continue to engage with FATF at every level to make sure that the achievements, our achievements, uh, are further um, go even in the same direction as we go forward. Now, I want to acknowledge over here that this truly is a result of the whole of country efforts and demonstration of a resort to improve our domestic system to counter money laundering and financing of terrorism and bring them at par with international standards. This would not have been possible without complete national consensus across the political spectrum. Uh, this also shows that Pakistan can achieve a lot and go again, go through any adversity and achieve its objective if it decides to work together as a nation. Uh, to me, this is the learning lesson which shows that Pakistan has no dirt of what it can achieve only if we all work together uh, to put you know, our energy in the right direction. I would like to take this opportunity to especially thank the leadership for providing strategic direction, confidence and support to all institutions throughout the process to achieve this key national objective. The success we have achieved today is an indicator of what we can achieve when we work together with a sense of purpose and commitment. And I know there's been a consistent concern in Pakistan as to who did what. I say everybody did everything that they needed to do to make today happen. I mean at the institutional level, various institutions. I mean from the highest official in the Ministry of Finance, uh, you know, Foreign Affairs, Finance, other institutions, FATF Secretariat, uh, Ministry of Interior, Police Departments, CTG Departments, but the plethora of departments, institutions involved in this is unthinkable. I also want to say that the credit goes to every political institution also which has given ownership to make Pakistan reach where it is today. So I want to be unambiguous in saying that there is no uh, dirt of work and nobody has been left wanting in making the effort that has been required to put Pakistan where it is today. I'm going to go later on in detail to perhaps talk about what it means for Pakistan. And what it means for Pakistan is Pakistan will be unburdened by the grey listing of a factor, which means that people can invest in your country without having to think twice about it. People can trade with your country without having to uh, think twice about it. So this is truly a, a very good news and uh, within the context of what we want to promote in terms of economic diplomacy, I think this is really, uh, mashallah, good timing. And I want to commend everyone who played their part, big or small, in making Pakistan reach this momentous day. Now, in the last four years, you all know that Pakistan has undertaken broad based and comprehensive legal, administrative, procedural reform to improve all aspects of our AML CFT regime. This includes amending laws related to any anti-money laundering and countering financing of terrorism. We also increased synergy in the system, streamlined the processes, improved interagency coordination, enhanced international cooperation with other jurisdictions and organizations, instituted supervisory structures, created necessary administrative protocols, and allocated sufficient financial and human resources to improve our compliance with patent recommendations. 
I want to say over here that today Pakistan stands as one of the countries which has the highest uh, number of uh, which is most aligned with factor recommendations. In fact, we are one we are on third position in uh, going uh, with technical recommendations that have come from factor. I want to take this opportunity to appreciate uh, the tireless and dedicated effort that our national factor team who have done a tremendous really tremendous work day and night for the last four years to meet all of FATA's difficult targets. Uh, no, it's not impossible, certainly difficult targets. Multiple departments and agencies have already said, both at the federal and provincial levels, have con contributed to this national park. And today, all of them truly, I may be the case which is giving this good news to everyone, but really, the people uh, who have gone to work uh, behind the scenes on this are indeed many, and they truly deserve the credit that every day else seems to see. I also want to uh, say a few lines about the strategic importance of FATF and their Pakistan today. We have said all along that partnership and association with FATF and the wider international community is rooted in our strategic objective of strengthening our economy and further improving its integration with the international financial system. We want to be seen and to remain a responsible and active member of the international community who is well aware of the international community. I think I have said this before, this is truly a never again moment for Pakistan and I think the lessons learned from this is that Pakistan has uh, become in some ways a role model for the region in having the highest number of FATF recommendations which we have already complied with. We want to make sure that we remain ahead of the curve and I think there's broad political support and commitment at every level to make sure that we will be able to do that. I have already, already talked about the economic benefits of whitelisting. I think this fits in very well with Pakistan's geoeconomic focus. Uh, we have talked about geoeconomic focus in the Foreign Office of Pakistan, and this uh, will enable us to be able to pursue our agenda of pushing Pakistan's economic interests, be it in trade, investment, people to people contact, uh, human resource export, whatever it may be. Uh, inshallah, this day and what uh, you know are getting off the uh, gray list will assist us in that journey and will enable us to be able to achieve all those objectives that are. दूर क्यों जाएं? पार्किंग और भारी कीमत के मसले से जान छुड़ाएं। गर्मा गर्म खाना घर ले आएं। न्यूयॉर्क के खूबसूरत इलाके लॉन्गलैंड की नासो और सफक काउंटी के संगम पर हलाल पाकिस्तानी, अफगानी, इंडियन और बंगलादेशी खानों का वाहिद मरकज। टेस्टी हलाल बाइट्स, कितार ना इंतजार। Taza Halal Khana, Minto Metayar. 756 Main Street, Farmingdale, New York, 11735. Phone number 516-859-1111. Tasty Halal Bites for I, Taza or Mazidar Halal Khanekai.